اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Now, a number of times I've seen people asking me about singular matrix problem. Now, what could be the possible reasons for your singular matrix problems in Smart PLS? Now, in this session, I'm going to try to address a few of the reasons that you get this singular matrix issue in your data. So, let me create a new project and let me call it singular matrix problem. Press create. And where is it? Here it is. Import the data file. So I'm going to use this data file. Okay, let me close this. Yes, import data file. Now just make sure always double check the data. It's all good. Import. Go back. Create model, PLSSCM, let me call it measurement model or you can call it structure model. So let's say I'm interested in assessing the impact of so we'll create the model regression, let's say model one. And I'm interested in assessing the impact of, let's say, organizational learning collaborative culture and role conflict on organizational performance let me put the indicators now I'm also interested in finding out whether job rank has an impact on OP or not. Now in this case, job rank is junior, middle, senior, which has got three categories. So I can just simply put it in directly as well because it is ordinal. But for the sake of understanding, I've got, or I created dummy coded variables based on the job rank. So I've got three job ranks here, junior, middle, senior. So once you have dummy coded variables, you add them one by one, junior, middle, and then add senior. Now, once you do that, let's connect them. And save it and let's run it. Let's say we go for bootstrapping. And for now, just for the sake of understanding, I'm just going to keep it to 1000. All good, let's start. Now we've got singular matrix problem and if we click info, we've got a variable that has variance of zero. That is, it contains only the same values for each case observation. This can occur, for example, when using a grouping variable in the path model and estimating the group models. Occurrence of extreme collinearity or a sample size that is too small. Now in this case, if I look here, I've got a grouping variable, job rank which has three categories, junior, middle, and senior. And I have put in all the three categories in the model. Now, this is resulting in two variables having similar values in the data set. Now, when you have categorical predictor variable, what you need to do is you need to keep one out as a reference. Now, this is not a problem if you've got a variable with two categories, let's say gender. So you could simply put it in because it has got two categories in it, no problem at all. But rank has got three categories, so you created dummy variables. Let's say you are working on ethnicity and you've got, let's say, four ethnicities. Now, if you create dummy coded variables and if you put all these, those four categories in the model, you are going to have this issue. So you are going to, or you have to keep one out. Now, in this case, let me put out or delete this junior here now this serves as a reference category 
to which the results are compared. Now, if I run the model, let's see if we get the results. Calculate, bootstrapping, start. Now the problem is resolved. Now, if you look at the results, senior level employees have a higher organizational or better perception of organizational performance in comparison to the juniors. But is it significantly different? No, it isn't. What about middle level? Yes, middle level employees have a better perception of organizational performance, but is it significantly different? No, it is not significantly different. So that particular variable or rather the dummy variable is now the reference cap category to which these categorical variable results are compared. Now you might have the same issue, let's say even if you don't have categorical variables, you still end up having singular matrix problem in these variables. Now maybe some of the indicators or some of these variables have high collinearity. So in that case, what I propose is go step by step, delete one variable, run the model again. So what you're doing is you're going stepwise and trying to resolve the problem by removing one latent variable at a time and see or finding out where the problem exists. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to solve singular matrix problem. But if still the problem persists, make sure to increase your sample size. Thank you very much.